Hi everybody, this is Natasha. Welcome to my video. And I am going to walk you through how I was able to create this amazing, amazing, cute cover here. Isn't she adorable? I'm going to try to make it as simple and as quick as possible. Now, of course, there are many ways you could put these notebooks together. I'm just going to show you the way I did it without having to buy a book binder or anything of that nature i'm just using what i have here in the house other than these two hole punchers that i just recently bought but it turns out i already have this size so <laughs> i really didn't need to make this purchase but i did we also are not going to be using the laminator but uh, i am going to show you the one i did do here which this is very pretty. Um, my daughter's just going to hang it in her room. And this was laminated, but we're not going to use this for our cover. You are more than welcome to do that for covers. This is very sturdy. So you can definitely go ahead and laminate if you want. This is the cover we're going to do now. She's so cute. And I just printed it out. And what you need is obviously your print. You're going to need, well, I use heavy card stock here, which is 110 pounds. You can purchase pretty much any craft store, Michaels, uh, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. Or order from Amazon. I'm going to be using a, a self-adhesive laminate sheet. I have a whole box of these. So this, and these are great books to practice with so don't be shy grab them up now it's back to school time they're only 25 cents and they're one subject notebooks so definitely go ahead and grab you some books so that you can get the practicing so what we're going to do is i'm going to walk you through the steps so first step you will want to do is take the coils off carefully just by taking the little latch off off both sides and all you do is turn it and it will you know come right off the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and trim our paper down. So I'm going to bring my paper a little bit closer and I'll go ahead and trim my paper down. And you can use whatever you have, um, scissors or whatever. This is what I like to use most of the time. So I'm going to go ahead and trim. Now that we have our paper trimmed down to our correct measurements. And for this book, we're using eight inches wide and 10 and a half inches high. And that's just getting your ruler. So whatever book that you are using, just go ahead and measure. And then you'll cut your, which I'm not sure if I mentioned, this is using a uh, card stock, 65 pound. And then the 110 pound is what we're going to slice down, cut down, but we're going to make it a tad bit smaller because we don't need it to be the exact same size because we're not going to use this when it's time to punch the holes in.
We just want to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. And this will fit perfect right on the back of your paper. show you I'm going to actually work mine a little bit taller than what I did with that one all right so let's compare the two again yeah that's a little bit closer to where I want it so that's how I add more sturdiness to my covers is I use 65 pound here and then you can glue or use a spray adhesive. This is what I use to spray the heavier cardstock, and that will go in the back. And I'll show you what that looked like once we're all finished. So you take your laminate. I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to get an extra 12 by 12 piece of paper. You'll see why in a minute here. So I'm just going to lay that on there. Let's go ahead and get this out the way. Right, I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just lining it up here to the top of the paper. And I'm gonna push my paper right up here to the top. But this is, this is not hard at all, but you definitely wanna make sure that your paper is straight and then you wanna have something for you to smooth it down over top, because you don't want no bubbles or anything as you're pulling the top cover down. <laughs> I'm going to bump my hand across the back just to get it started. I know you can't see now, but you'll see in a second exactly how this is going to look. Oh. Alright, just moving it down evenly across. And it's okay that it's getting on a red paper because that's where I want it. going to peel it up and then I'm just going to trim it again and trim all the excess this is why I really love this trimmer I use it all the time because you definitely don't want need a red. And there it is. The red's not sticky, it just falls off. And now the front is perfect. It has some fingerprints on it, but they wipe right off. So don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and secure this down because this is very sharp. 
All right, so now, oops, put the paper over here. So now that we have that prepared, you could go ahead and put your backing on by using the spray adhesive, spraying the back of your paper. Do it in like a box or, cause this stuff gets everywhere. So I have a little box or you could do it inside your recycle bin. Just give it one good spray. There go. So y'all can see me here. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put it closer to the side that's not to this side because this is where the hole, the holes are going to go over here. So I want it closer to the side that's not going to have the holes. So now it has a lot more sturdiness to it. It's going to be perfect, just like this one. It has the backing on there. And at this point, all you have to do is punch your holes. This is the size hole puncher here that I use. This one is definitely a little too small, but it's up to you if you want to give it a try. But you get your hole puncher, you get your piece of paper, and you can use some clamps and just hold it to where you want to, you know, line it up and just go ahead and punch them holes down. It only takes a few moments, doesn't take long. Once your holes are on there, then you just recoil. And put your coils back on and make sure you secure it again at the top and the bottom. And that's how you can make your very own notebook cover. It's a quick and easy way to do it. So thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And remember to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming tutorials, DIYs, lives, and everything. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. See you next time.